Turning now to Texas, where tropical depression Imelda is dumping heavy rain and unleashing tornadoes across the state. Imelda is moving north with winds of up to 30 miles per hour. The storm spawned several twisters east of Houston, damaging homes and other structures. Janet Shamlian and her crew became stuck while covering the storm. So here's her report she was able to file. A deluge in southeast Texas. Cars sinking in floodwaters and stranding drivers. Relentless driving rain in the town of Winnie forced Riceland Healthcare, a hospital and nursing home, to evacuate. This is the power of tropical depression Imelda. The rain accompanied by thunderstorms, lightning, and tornado warnings. In Baytown, about 25 miles east of Houston, some drivers risked going through the rising flash floodwaters during rush hour. Call it in for me, it's down. Others drove through a tornado in Highlands, Texas. The twister crossed a road in the path of trees, power lines, and cars. Some homeowners are already starting the cleanup of downed tree limbs and debris from roofs. Coastal areas experienced some of the worst of the storm. It was shaking, it was just very loud, rumbling, and just, it was lightening up. In the community of Sargent along the Texas coast, almost 20 inches of rain has fallen this week. More is expected. The rain isn't stopping anytime soon. We might get another 80% chance of rainfall. So if we get that on top of this, there's a chance we could experience some more flooding again. Turning now to Texas, where tropical depression Imelda is dumping heavy rains and unleashing tornadoes across the state. Tropical depression Imelda is moving north now with winds of up to 30 miles per hour. The storm spawned several twisters east of Houston, damaging homes and other structures. The cleanup began shortly after the storm passed. Imelda has already dumped up to 22 inches of rain in some uh, southeastern parts of the state. And CBS News correspondent Janet Shamlian is joining us over the phone from uh, Beaumont, Texas. Uh, so, Janet, as I understand it, it's been raining so heavily and, and the weather has been so rough that the reason that you're not on camera is you couldn't get reunited with your, your crew with the camera. It, that is the case. There is floodwaters coming into our hotel. My crew is about a mile away. They have floodwaters coming into their hotel. And if we have floodwaters, in newly constructed buildings, I can only imagine what is happening in homes and businesses around this community. This is a slow motion disaster, Anne Marie, unfolding before my eyes. I have not seen anything like it. And I live in Houston and went to Harvey two years ago. It is a deluge that has been going on since 8 o'clock last night without stop, without a moment of lighter rain. We have had tornado warnings all night long, and the sky is like daytime because of all the lightning strikes. Officials have put out a shelter-in-place warning, but they don't have to. No one can get anywhere, and that includes the emergency responder. My hotel is along Interstate 10, and I can tell you right now that Interstate 10 is at a standstill. If anyone was on it, I see, I see trucks with their lights on, and I think they are just in their vehicles right now. And of course, we won't know the full extent of this Anne Marie until morning or until a couple hours when, when we can get out of places like hotels and fire stations and police departments. I do want to add that in Winnie, Texas, um, about 12 miles from where I am, there were reports as much as five inches of rain in an hour and a hospice care facility has been evacuated. It is a very, very serious situation in the Beaumont metro area and Marie. You know, my concern, Janet, is when we talked before, before the uh, deluge had really started, it seemed like it was going to be a bad rainstorm and there could be some localized flooding, but there were no evacuation orders or any of that sort of stuff. It was kind of like your, your general, you know, take precautions, don't drive through standing water, the stuff that you hear all the time. So my concern is that there are people who may be in need of help that didn't even know that they probably needed to get to higher ground. They're going to be stuck. That's right. We talked yesterday morning. I was at Hobby Airport. We were like, well, this is Ponday. There's two inches of water. You know, and we drove here to Beaumont. That's about a 90-minute drive from Houston. We went to talk to the local CBS station, and they said, nah, this is a rain event. This is not going to be that bad. So you know when the local station is putting out that word, 
that sends the view as a signal, as you just said. So I, I think there has to be extreme concern right now for people in low-lying areas who may have floodwaters in their home. And again, it wouldn't be safe for a firefighter um, to be on the uh, on the roads right now if they could even get their vehicle on the on the roads. I don't know how the audio is coming through to you, but it's a, it's a constant barrage of water and lightning strikes and thunder here, and it's just. We've got to hope that people are safe. So, Janet, I don't know if you have even been able to get this information, but, you know, what's the next 12 to 24 hours going to hold in terms of the weather? Is this storm moving? Well, it doesn't. You know, I heard in the intro you say that the storm is moving. It sure does not feel like it's moving. It feels like it is sitting and lingering over Beaumont slash southeast Texas. I think the winds just tripped a car alarm, if you hear that in the background. Um, the winds are really picking up here. I, we are staying at the same hotel as, a, as a, a weather crew, and they said that it should clear up by 3 o'clock this afternoon central time. Um, but, boy, it, it just seems like it is sitting and dumping and not moving an inch. I, I really have not seen anything like this, and I've covered storms for many years. Yeah, that really says something that puts it in perspective uh, for us, Janet. Well, listen, uh, stay safe and thank you so much. Thank you. We begin with some severe weather in Texas, flash flooding that brought more than 20 inches of rain in different parts of the state. And there's more on the way. It's a situation that's making people compare it to Hurricane Harvey. Steve Campion from our affiliate KTRK is in southeast Texas with the latest. Steve. The rain has been relentless here in southeast Texas. You can see it's still falling right now. We are in the small community of Winnie, where the sheriff's office estimates more than 20% of the homes have taken on water. I want you to look at the main drag here in town. You can see it is covered in water. There still are abandoned vehicles here. The drivers were forced to abandon those vehicles due to rising water. And if you look over here, here's one of them here in the ditch. In the distance, another. And a little bit farther over to our right, we have a pickup truck. So this is a serious situation that has unfolded overnight here in southeast Texas. It's a devastating and dangerous flood. People that we have spoken with have left their homes and they have come to this gas station to seek refuge. First responders have deployed high water rescue vehicles and boats to help people out here. They are prioritizing those calls based on need, but certainly this is still an unfolding situation happening in Southeast Texas. I'm Steve Campion in Winnie, Texas. You're watching ABC News Live. All right, thank you, Steve. A very dangerous situation. Our Clayton Sandell uh, spoke with the sheriff of Chambers County earlier today, so take a listen. Hey, Kimberly, we are here in the town of Winnie, Texas, or we're trying to get into the town of Winnie, Texas. I'm here with Chambers County Sheriff Brian Hawthorne. Um, this, we talked yesterday, um, and there wasn't a lot going on here, and then everything changed overnight. Kind of tell me what happened. So the uh, weather really started moving into Chambers County on the extreme side, probably at about 5 o'clock in the evening. Yeah. It hit our west side, and then when it moved over here to the east side, it stalled and has continued to stall and train. And the, the weather got bad here about 8 p.m., mm -hmm. and it is still bad, as you can see now. So it, we're, we're pushing almost 12 hours. The first three hours, it was doing five to six inches an hour. An hour. An hour. It's a lot so, of water. So we, we're estimating now that we're probably pushing 20 to 25 inches of rain easily. Just um, since last night. Just since last night. And okay. a lot of these houses are uh, have taken on rising water yep. that did not get rising water in Harvey. We were talking about that earlier. You said the effects here were not as bad as a major hurricane that hit here two years ago. That is, that is correct. And it has just stalled on us like Harvey did. Yeah. All right. But um, the hospital didn't flood during Harvey. We had to evacuate the hospital. Um, a number of homes that never have ever seen water ever in their life now have water in them. Uh, it's just, the, the, just too much water, uh, too quick. Do you think people had time to get out, or were most people, or a lot of people, stranded? Um, most people, like myself included, did not realize that this would stall for as many hours as it had. So everybody knew it was going to be a bad rain event, but they had no idea that it would be a 12-hour stall 
rain event, and it just keeps training and just keeps bringing in more moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. It's a lot of water and not a lot of places for it to go it, right well, now. Well, it's just run out of places to go. Yeah. So, uh, so what does the next 12 hours look like for you here in this town? Well, until it quits raining, it's, it's going to be a nightmare. Um, you know, we keep waiting for daylight to come, but it's so overcast and so and raining so hard, we're still not even realizing that the sun should be shining right now. Right. But, um, it's not, and, and until it gets daylight, we really won't know what, what we really have. Okay. Have you ever seen it this bad? Have you ever seen anything like this, Sheriff? Well, I, I've, I've been through a lot of hurricanes. I did Hurricane Ike. I, I, have, I did Hurricane Rita. I did Hurricane Harvey. But this is the worst flooding I've ever seen. 